Welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at two very common errors that you might encounter while exporting your design. Now, these are very simple to fix, so we're just going to jump right in. The very first one that you'll encounter are complex images. Now, you'll see here we have basically the exact same design between our bug and our fix, but they will both render differently. Now, this is similar with our other common error, which is missing images. So you might have basically your design, but in the output, uh, this content is not visible. So what I'm going to do first is just simply export uh, this entire file and then what we're going to do is take a look at the bugs and then come back to the design itself and we're going to take a deeper look at the actual layers to see how uh, we can correct this issue. So I know where this is being exported, um, so let's simply just hop right in and let's drag it over to our browser. So you'll see here that what we have in essence is just a gradient square, which is not what we're expecting. If we take a look at the design, you'll see we're expecting a logo. And secondly, for our missing images bug, you'll see although in the design we have six images, clearly there are three missing here. So let's go back to the actual design. Now, within our, miss, our complex image, what we have here is you'll see that we have a folder which contains many subfolders. Now, these elements and subfolders are vectors which actually create this image in the final output in the design. Now, in reality, what you need to do is convert it to a PNG. You do not need to create you know, 10 plus elements, six plus folders to simply render an image, which is a logo on your website or your design or your project itself. That's really not necessary. This is great for the actual design itself that you use this many elements. You can see the designer did, you know, a fantastic job. They took a lot of time, but in reality, convert it to a symbol, add an image tag. This will create a PNG in the output of the content, which is exactly what you're looking for. If it's your logo or some type of uh, actual artwork in the final content, it's likely going to be a PNG. Do not keep the SVG. Uh, SVG is a lot harder to maintain in a production environment. So you'll see here what we simply did was we made it a symbol. If we were to do that here, you'll see it convert to a symbol. And then what we can do is just simply add an image tag. So there are many ways to approach this. Um, ah, let's do it here. Why not? There are many ways to approach this, and what this will do in the end is basically correct uh, your design in your export. Now, the other common issue that is faced is that if we take a look at our images, you'll see that a lot of the images maintain the same name. Now, Export Kit will do its best to create a unique name uh, when it finds similar names for layers, but in reality, it's not perfect, and there are ways to trick it. So one of the easiest ways to trick it is if you add your own numerical index, such as you'll see here we have image image one, image underscore one, while we also have other layers that are named image as well. In essence, in the output, what this will do is this will conflict the naming engine, uh, basically. So the quickest way to fix this is to simply add unique names to your layers. So let's just export this and take a look. Now, we're not going to see the bug in the complex image once again, and that's simply because we corrected it. Uh, I think I might have something selected. Let's just take a look. Okay, no, so let's uh, take a look at the bug here, which should be corrected, and you'll see it's corrected now. We have a PNG, which is what we're expecting, which is similar to the fix. So rather than our original square, and if we take a look at the missing images, you'll see here again. While the fix now with the unique names now has the content that we expect. So these are two of the most common errors that you'll face. And if we just want to take a look again at the original bug. So we got here a basic gradient square, which is not what we were expecting. But using the image tag and simply converting it to a symbol, you'll see we have our logo, which is a PNG. So these are quick and simple fixes, which will in essence, give you almost a perfect export using any design that you will create within Adobe XD. Simply follow these rules and you'll get exactly what you expect.